हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमोहान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द इंफॉर्मेशन If a rock has been reducing the note count for years, there might still be 90 trillion dinars outside the central bank. To shift from trillions to billions, the country will need to re-denominate its currency. Iraq plans to do this by removing three zeros and introducing lower denomination notes, likely within the next year. This change could lead to an appreciation of the currency based on recent progress. Iraq has a promising opportunity to diversify its economy and enhance its banking system. It's important to understand that the World Bank, IMF, and BIS do not control a country's bank. They only provide recommendations and facilitate processes. Currently, Iraq cannot fully detach from the policies of the U.S. Federal Reserve. We expect news on Sunday regarding the budget. Since it has already been passed, this might mean we will receive information about the new exchange rate or which projects have been executed or initiated. If there was any indication of a new rate, the Council of Ministers would have been informed. If the Parliamentary Finance Committee or the House of Representatives had approved the amendments, we would have seen significant celebration and announcements from Iraq, especially from the Central Bank of Iraq. Instead, the amendments were reviewed and passed by the Council of Ministers and then forwarded to the Parliamentary Finance Committee. We know for certain that the exchange rate has not been disclosed yet. Iraq is making substantial progress with its large reserves and increased gold holdings. They are developing their private sector, and their stock exchange is becoming a noteworthy emerging market, attracting substantial investments. Currently, the price of a bottle of Coke in Iraq is excessively high, which is why adjustments are being made. A new exchange rate will be introduced to align with the new or lower denominations. Iraq is on the verge of a significant transition, poised to become a promising global economy as they prepare to revalue their currency and engage in international markets. It's right in front of us. It's almost here. The initial quarter was essential to prepare for it following stability after the December elections. June is pivotal for us. I understand we're all weary of hearing about this advancement, yet we still can't visit the bank. Consider the frustration felt by Iraqi citizens. Nevertheless, we observe consistent progress toward rose reinstatement and or revaluation. Iraq will regain its status as a robust economic participant. If they aren't at 1310, why would they be tomorrow? Iraq won't join the international arena until they demonstrate a genuinely effective exchange rate. I eagerly anticipate it. Thank you and take care.